Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play Xenonauts with me, your host Tim. Where we left off, we successfully did a night mission, a night mission, a night mission against, I think it were Seblians again. Lots and lots of Seblians recently, not a lot of Kaizens. In any case, we were successful, we're heading back to HQ, let us speed up some time. We'll get back here and then we will be assigning peoples, we'll mix up the group a little bit. And then we'll do the Righteous Fallen placement, and then we're good to go. Okay, so... I have one, two, three, four... Well, obviously, I think I have ten people currently on, on the ship. So, no one here is wounded. So, just Thomas Kramer. So, I can't have him come with us. Let's swap out our assaults. And take the non-wounded assaults. I'll swap out... I think I'll swap out Clara Fold for Joe Firestarter. Nope, that's Jay Dirk. And then... Captain Jack Ace Gregovore, you can have some time off. I'll take St. Francis Assisti with us instead. And... I wouldn't mind having another... Oh, we do have two heavy weapons with us. Let's swap out you, Mr. Jackson. And we will take Harold... Pe oh, you're both lieutenants. You'll stay. Okay, that's good enough for swapping. Let's come back over here and reassign some people. So we'll put our sniper here. I like having... Assault, assault. Machine gun, machine gun. Ballistic rifle. Stick rifle, rocket launcher. So we'll go with this at the moment. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's good enough. All right, let's 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 pass my time. Wait until the end of the month. Right, just fallen is rearmed. Oh, hold on a second. How's our production going? We've got two of the armors that I want done. So let's give these to my assaults. We do have five assaults, so that's perfect for them. And Jared Hiltman... You are currently assigned to the Righteous Fallen. So, how does this work? Okay, now we're going to have to get rid of something. At least one... I don't want to really get rid of anything. Like, I really don't. 63 TUs is still a decent amount of TUs, even with that armor equipped. You know, we don't need all the shotgun shells. Let's take out... Yeah, let's leave out one shotgun shell. Let's actually also set this as the default equipment now. Who else is on the Righteous Fallen? Who's our, another assault? Not a deep one. Nice, and you can hold all the equipment that you needed. And you have a little bit of weight left over. This will be fine. Okay, cool. Let's just pass by time. We have another three days or two days until October, where we're expecting our first paycheck. Yep, just passing time. Nothing ha that's... UFO 13 detected. Small, no escort... It's another scout. Let's intercept them. Time to bring them down. Let's go, guys. Oh, this is a weird UFO. It doesn't have the alien face on it. And it's a triangle. It's faster, too. 1,800. Well, I'm going to leave it alone right now. Okay, we got this guy. We'll auto-resolve. Down it goes. I guess we'll shoot down this one, too. And let's see what this one is, actually. Well, this one went, went right for us. Oh, it's a fighter! Well, we'll still auto-win. auto, auto win. I do need to practice, but I'll do that off-screen. So let's auto-resolve this, this battle. Okay. 
Okay, we destroyed it. Let's return to base. The following items have been recovered from the something. One fighter data core. Oh, interesting. Okay. So fighters, I suppose, don't drop don't leave anything behind. We just automatically get some stuff to, to research. Okay, let's take care of this crash site. Intercept it with Righteous Fallen. We should make it there just as daylight occurs. Oh, or in the middle of the day. Okay, let's let's do it. Okay, we're already at the edge of the map, out this way. And we have trees blocking our exit that way, so we gotta come out the main entrance. Another highway. Oh, darn it. My salts don't do so well on highways, thanks to not being able to use their shields. Seblians again. All right, no problem. Let's take them out. So you go there, sir. Mr. Jackson, you can run up. Not enough to do a burst. Oh, God! Reaction fire, but he missed. I need to make sure there's none other straight up ahead of us as well. They tend to come in pairs, from what I've seen. So, Odin... Now, I really want a shot at him, but I'm not going to be able to get a good shot at him. Oh, we might be able to. Let's move you out one shot. I want enough that you can make an aimed. Well, that's perfect. Wow, 50 damage. Wonderful hit. Now we just need you kind of out of the way. Cordy, can you also hit him? You have to get lucky. All right, one down Seblian immediately. He's going to run right up. Crouch recover. Joe, you're going to run up. Face this way. Also crouch. Make yourself a slightly hard to hit target. And St. Francis Assisti is going to run up this way. As well. Okay, everyone's out. Let's end our turn. Yep, you guys get to the chopper. Do it now! Alright. It's good. So, we need to... Oh, hey! We actually can get our shield guys out through this highway in relatively short order. Not a deep one. We're going to run you up. Crouch for cover. Still don't see any other aliens. That's a lot of movement. Let's have Mr. Hiltman move up instead. Still nothing. Okay. The grass is what is causing us to take so m much to use. I like to blow open some of this area so I can more easily cross. Nope, that's a mistake, Tim. You're going to hit the bush and then everything's going to go get blown up. Let's not do that. I don't want to use the car for cover. 
Let's just sit here with you guys. The leap. Why don't you move up? We can then move Cordy up as well. One shot, you can move here. Joe, I want to move you up somehow, but I don't know where I want you to move up. Let's get, let's get you this way. Odin can look that way, and we're good. Good. Both the, both the civilians I've seen, hopefully that's all the civilians on the highway, have made it, hopefully, on this side of the road. That's a lot of hope. Hope is the first step on the road to disappointment. This is the edge of the map, and there's no aliens on this side. Okay, good to know. Thank you, Jared. Let's move you up. All right, so you're gonna move up this way. I don't want you having enough to use to fire this as a reaction shot. That would be really bad. Let's move you over here. There's nothing down there, right? I don't think there is. Odin, you will move slightly up. On a deep one, I'm tempted to run you here. Let's do it. Another alien. Okay. Let's crouch you. That's a pistol. He's armed with a pistol. Can I... Do I have enough to throw one of these? No, I do not. Alright, then you'll just stay put. The bus is going to block all my shots on him from there. I do not like firing on over you because we very well could accidentally gun you down. Can you fire a burst? Not with what you've got. Not enough to use. You'll just sit there then, sir. Alright, so now we know there's one guy here. I don't really want to move you up, Philippe. I want to keep everyone else where they are. Let's move our sniper up here. And that will do it, I think. Barkley, I don't want you being shot at. Let's move him up as well. Move him up even more. Might be a little dangerous, but I think he'll be fine. The alien would have to run quite some distance in order to... Don't do that to me, sir. In order to hit him. Oh, hello. We see each other. That's not good. Cordy Duck. And Philippe, you will just sit here. That's good enough, I guess. Let's end our turn. So they're expecting me to come up that way. But I still see him with Cordy. Oh, nice. And the fourth one was enough to also suppress them. Great. We really needed that. Mr. Jackson, if I run you down here and face you, is that what I want to do? Yeah, he ran... This is a wonderful spot for him to run to. He's now out of range of my sniper. And I kind of have to go this way. 
I still want to be able to shoot him next turn. Can you throw a grenade at him? You don't have a grenade to throw. Okay. Philippe, do you have a grenade to throw? We have to move you closer. Let's do so. Oh, okay. You can't because Mr. Bar Mr. Jackson's in the way. Oh, you can shoot him? The car's in the way. That car's too close. I'm not comfortable firing with you there. Let's... Let's run you down here, after all. Now we can move Philippe up. And maybe throw a grenade at him? We have to move up even more. Now we don't have the TUs, so you'll just hide behind the bus. On deep one, you can throw a grenade. We have to move up a little bit more, though, which we can't do with you. Because you have a shield. I don't want to lose that shield. How much is to throw this? 45? No, that's no good. If the car blows up, you're dead. You'll just stay put. We can try to get a different angle on him. So who will be hit? I think there's a chance to hit Jared Hiltman. So Jared, we're going to move you up. Now, he's already suppressed. We don't have a good chance to hit him, but that's, awesome. that's actually past your weapons ability to shoot at. Like, your maximum range is being exceeded there. Still exceeded, but a higher chance. We'll try it. Awesome work. Nice. Second one down. Uh, deep one, we're going to move you up a tiny bit. Or I could just... No, let's move up all the way. There's a UFO. Okay, we see it. Joe, can I get you closer up? Well, I mean, we can. Let's do it. So one shot, you can probably... Yeah, you can see that. So this is a fantastic spot for you to be. There's a small chance you'll hit some of the railings on the way, but we're going to keep you here. Unless, do I have 38? Um, no. Next round we can move you forward. Odin, I really want you up here as well. Okay, and that's good. No, no, don't, yeah, don't run that way. That's where the UFO is. I hear the door constantly opening and shutting, but I also need, I need to check what's down here as well. All right, St. Francis Assisti, let's move you up this way. Face... No, face there. Crouch. Joe, I'm going to get you even closer. Next turn, we move you even closer here, and then you're going to start firing rockets at the, at the door to break that open for us. On a deep one, we're going to have to move you up.
Odin, you're gonna move up as well. Crouch, I don't see anything down in that direction. Larry, why don't you move up as well? Sure, get behind him. Mr. Jackson. So now the aliens know I'm here. Let's keep moving up Cordy as well. Gotta be really, really careful. I, th I think I think we're doing well so far. We've killed two of them. We haven't taken any hits. We're in good positions as well. Let's end our turn. And we saw him, yeah. There, so there's one inside the UFO. We didn't see him leave. We need to check what's down here. that. I don't see anything. You just shoot. You can provide covering fire in case something pops up behind him. Joe, let's think here. First off, does Odin have sh a shot? No, a tree's in the way. He'd have to move over here, and I don't really know if I want to do that. If I moved him here, he'd probably have this tree in the way. We could blow up the tree with you, Joe. Let's try. And then next round, you reload, and then right after that, you can fire a rocket at the door. And now Odin has shots on them if they open that door. See if I just assist why don't you move up a little bit? Sure. One shot can finally move up. And that is everyone, I think? Oh, Mr. Hiltman, I completely forgot about you. Let's get you up here. We need our assaults together. Well, we don't need them together, but I want them up. Okay. That is good, I think. No, Cordy needs to probably move up as well. Let's move her up this way. I need to check what's behind these trees here. So we could have an alien back there. Odin, yep, you're going to stay right there. Now we're going to move you up. Actually, no, that was a mistake. Because I just, I want you to do some covering fire. Philippe. Let's move you up here as well. Can you shoot this from where you are? You can. It's not a very good chance to do it, but it'll sit there as well. Mr. Jackson. Didn't really want to do that. Sure, you can go to the other side of this. Okay. Oh, I heard some brush. There is an alien out here somewhere. Where? Not all the aliens are inside the ship. Leisure La Larry Leisure Suit and Cordy can support our assault as we check this area. 
Just need to check that one empty spot. Joe, I need you to reload. Then you can move up a tiny bit. I'll put you near the car at the moment. I don't think they're going to come out to hit you. I wouldn't mind having one shot have a clear shot at that door. Oh crap, now I blocked Jared Hiltman, so he's got to go the long way around. Alright, well, let's do it. Everyone else can stay put where they are. Oh, it's a person. <laughs> Stop doing that to me, sir. You realize I sent half, almost half my squad this way to check for aliens and it was just a person? Stop running toward the, the alien ship. He probably wants to take a picture and post it on his Twitter profile. Okay. No reason to worry. There could still be an alien out here, though, Tim, so you should be careful. Cordy, let's move you up as well. And then on this side... Joe, can you... Get one shed. I don't like the car being in the way. So let's move you up. Crouch you down. And sure. Oh, you know the TUs. Alright, then you're just gonna stay put, obviously. Odin, if I move you up one more spot, I can then pivot you and crouch you, and you still have enough for a burst. Fleet will stay where he is, one shot will stay where he is. Mr. Assist, you can stay where you are, and we can run Jared up here to help block for you, Joe. Alright, that's good. Oh, blown up the navigation system. It took a hit, but it's still alive. Alright, let's do this. Oh, <laughs> made some sevillian paste on the other side of that door. Awesome work, Joe. Awesome work. You gained some accuracy. Six, up to 64 now. That was wonderful. We got another captain. L Lieutenant Larry Leisure Suit is now a captain. Bunch more lieutenants for our sergeants. Some more kills. That was that was simply wonderful. I want a wonderful mission. Oh my goodness. Two alien alloys as well. We covered another light scout data core. Bunch of selling off the weapons. Oh, wonderful. What a nice way to end the month. All right, well, that'll do it for this video, everyone. Thank you for watching. When we come back, hopefully, we'll, well, we will most likely be in October. So we'll find out what happens to us then. It looks like we'll probably gain about 1 million something credits. 1,900,000 credits. And then we'll be spending a lot of that on increasing Chimera HQ's capabilities so we can defend this side. Alright, well, right now we're done. Thank you again for watching, everyone. Take care. Hey, that last video was only 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little more in this one rather than just cut it like as I was about to. So, let's go ahead and take a look at our engineers. We just built another Jackal armor, so let's assign that to another heavy assault character. So that would be... Let's assign it to Mace. So we can go back over here. Where are you, sir? Mace Duda. We can equip the default loadout. Wonderful. Oh, man, look at him. He looks pretty awesome. That's a pretty cool beard he's got. Oh, yeah! I should... We should have Imperialist 11. I gotta rename someone. Hmm. Palace, let's make you a heavy weapons person. So, that would probably... So, while Wake the Righteous Fallen comes back, 
I don't want Mr. Jackson being replaced. I don't like Odin. I like it. Pendrakes. We'll wait until we get another character who will end up being another heavy weapons. So you'll probably be a character then over in America when I get the chance. Once we have something over there. Alright, so that's enough of that. Let's just pass by some time. Get our righteous fallen back. Let's pass time a little slower. This fallen is repaired, refueled, is ready to go. We have forest fire and crop circles. Okay, so we have another captain. Larry Leisure Suit. So we don't need him along at the moment. We'll put back Jack Ace Gregovor. Let's see, Joe, you will come to the next mission. Mr. Jackson can take some time off, and we'll take a different heavy weapons character, Mr. Pendrake. And let's switch out our assaults again. So Jared can take some time off, not a deep one. And then we'll reassign... We'll assign Mace and Lauren Kelly, who we'll try to get some armor on before we send her out. And finally... I guess that's good enough. Let's go back over here and reassign these people. So we have two machine gunners, precision rifle. Oh, we have two snipers? I don't need two snipers. Ballistic rifle. Ballistic rifle, sniper. Sniper, yeah, I don't need two snipers on our Righteous Fallen. Did I have two snipers last time? Didn't think I did. No, I didn't. I just put eight Gregovor on here. So that means you'll be unassigned. One shot. And let's put ASD, ASD on. So, let's go back to our vessel. Machine guns. Oh, did I not? I did put you. You're right in the front. Let's do this. Okay, that's good for our Righteous Fall. We're all set up. Let's pass by some more time. How's our research doing, by the way? Good on our research. All right, let's keep. Hey, all right. Funding council report. Situation stable. Zero continents lost. Alien victory when five funding regions lost. Australia didn't change. Looks like Australia. They're so afraid of your irikanji jellyfish. They decided not to launch attacks at you whatsoever. Though China was a little unhappy with us. Soviet Union was kind of unhappy. You, the places we were defending were pretty happy, and well. Pretty obvious America's had no coverage whatsoever, and they withdrew some of their funding. You'd think that you'd give us a little more funding so we could get that base up and running and actually defend you. Oh well. Okay, so good enough. We accept this. Let's look at our construction for this base of theirs. Two more days. Alright, well, let's pass let's actually save the game. We have two million. Wow, two million dollars. I thought we would have a little less than that. So, what do I want to do? Let's let's have our engineers. Oh, they're still making more jackal armor. All right. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and get some on Lauren Kelly. So we can equip your default armor. You have way too much now, but your T's are still sixty-five, so I'm fine with that. Pass by some time. Oh, I really. Hmm. I'd love to get over there, but we simply cannot do so. How's our engineering work? Nine hours left. Dead zone. Fisherman report marine dead zone. Thousands of dead sea creatures observed. Widespread panic report across the region. UFO setting hovering near Bangkok. Okay. That's the last of our armor. So our last of our assaults, then... Can get it. That he would be an unassigned one. Mr. Kramer. 61 TUs. I'm still okay with that. That's still a decent number of TUs. Next. I want my engineers to work on another Foxtrot. Because I'm going to want this over in America. And we have an extra hangar over here to produce it. So that's my plan. We'll ship it over there when we're when we're done over here. I I've, actually, why don't we? Well, okay. What I'm going to do, 
I'm assuming that I can just ship the plane over there after I construct it here. If I can't do that, I'll just reload the game and build it over there instead. Although, oh no, I'll need engineers over there. Alright, well, it's October 1st, and monthly upkeep is now 900,000. Oh my goodness. Getting expensive. Second, this will be interception mission. Oh, interception mission, yep. What do you want to hear first, the good or the bad news? The good news is we're having a serious impact on ET air operations. Incidents are down or with the sponsors recovering, and r and happy with the technology we've recovered. The bad news is ET High Command has escalated operations by introducing dedicated fighter craft. The ETs have set up combat air patrols to directly counter both our own interceptors and national forces. UFOs tasked on interception missions will patrol the sky, striking at civilian and military aircraft. Data from the previous intercepts suggests that ET fighters on CAP missions will make Xenonaut aircraft a priority. If ET interceptors spot our craft, most likely informed by ET satellites, they will head directly towards them and force a fight. Interceptors are the most likely type of UFO on CAP, so look for very small signals. Dropships will be especially easy targets, so I recommend clearing out squadrons with interception missions first before tackling other craft to prevent accidents happening to the ground team. In other words, they'll shoot down our choppers. Oh man, that's terrifying. Alright, we gotta be careful about whenever this happens. Fighter UFO. The fighter is a very small UFO apparently designed for air supremacy. It is faster and tougher than the light scout, and surprisingly well armed for its size. Though not individually a match for an F-17 Condor, I doubt a lone F-17 would stand much of a chance against a full squadron of three. The most interesting feature of this design is the absence of a pressurized crew compartment. Virtually the entirety of the saucer consists of propulsion systems, sensors, and weapon arrays. This initially led us to believe the craft was unmanned, but analysis of the wreckage revealed enough biological material to convince us otherwise. We are unsure exactly what form this pilot takes, there's only room for one, but the lack of a transparent canopy or control systems implies they are much more heavily integrated with their craft than human pilots are. It's probably some sort of biological wiring. Like, if there's an alien in it, it's maybe the actual ship itself. The fighter's primary armament is a short-range rapid-fire energy weapon, much like our craft cannon on our F-17s. However, it also carries a pair of longer-ranged homing plasma projectiles that act more like missiles. Quite what these devices are and how they work is unknown, as fighters tend to explode so spectacularly when destroyed, there was little left to study. Whatever the culprit, I doubt we will be covering an intact version anytime soon. Man. Okay. So, more than just scouts now. We'll just have to deal with it. Command, uh, Chimera HQ is now completed. Wonderful. Immediately, let's begin putting some things in here. We need hangers. I'm going to want at least three hangers over here. I probably should... Oh, I can't build anything else off of this. Okay, then. We need other things first. Let's also build a living quarters. We'll put it over here. Can I build another hangar above that? No, I can't. Okay, then. I'm going to want a missile battery. We'll put that here. I'm going to want another radar array. Let's put that there. And we have to wait five days for me to build a hangar here. I'm going to want two more hangars. I'm going to want... I have some living quarters coming in. We'll hire people and put them over here when the living quarters are done. We will also want probably a medical facility over here as well. Oh, we have no scientists in this base, of course. We have no scientists left. Did I not hire more scientists? I completely forgot to hire scientists, didn't I? Or did I? I can't remember. How many scientists do I have? I don't want to accidentally hire more scientists. I thought I hired more scientists, but... I guess I didn't? I don't want to hire too many extras if I didn't need them. But technically, they'd still be useful even if I already hired them. Let's hire one... Oh! 
Oh, I didn't. I didn't, fi I didn't hire them because the lab wasn't done. So that's a shame. We're going to be a little behind. So I want five more scientists. Do I want ten more scientists? Let's hire ten more scientists. Let's do it. Pass by some time. I really need Chimera HQ to get up and running. Oh, it didn't start with a radar array. Of course, of course. So, yeah, so we need at least one radar array over there. I probably should bring build a second immediately. Yeah, let's do that. Let's build a, another radar array. This is getting expensive very quickly. We've already almost gone through a, a million dollars. We haven't even put anyone over there yet. Or bought more interceptors. Category 5, storm forming and clear skies. Pass by some more time. And we're losing money as well because we're building a... Whatchamacallit? We're building a foxtrot for Chimera. Okay, that's fine. Let's get our engineers working on something else. So, let's build some more armor. I'm going to build five more for 100,000. And now we'll just pass by time. Actually, how much longer until this... Uh, no, it's pointless to build people over there until I have... Until I have a, another Charlie on the way, I'm not going to hire any privates for America. What I should do, though, is we should probably look to increase my Juggernaut HQ up to 20 people. We have 18 total. Yes, we can hire two more. And I'm not... S oh, okay. Lucy Taylor's pretty good. So we'll hire her. Is and then Imperialis will probably make you her. She has good to use, not a lot of hit points, not a lot of strength, so she'll probably be a sniper. Good reflexes, though. I want her hired. And we'll hire David Novak. He's pretty good, too. 51 to use, he's a bit low, but good hit points, decent strength, accuracy's good. We might make him an assault. Or another heavy weapons character. Or Hideo Fujita, Fujita might also be a good heavy weapons character. But I only need two more over here. So we're just going to hire those two. Oh man, look at this guy. Not a lot of accuracy, but good strength. Hit points, NTUs. Dina Romanova. Good bravery. Probably another assault. Alright, anyway, let's go back to here. It's going to be, wow, one million dollars in upkeep. We had, don't even have any aircraft over in Chimera yet. It's going to get really expensive really quickly. How are you doing? Three more days until the hangars are ready. We might lose the game right away in this month if we're unable to keep America. The following items have arrived at 10 scientists. Alright, let's go to the base. Let's go to our research screen and we will begin on this. Might as well throw them right on that. We already have excellent progress on the alien alloys and stun weapons. I also want more missile batteries over these locations. Like, I'm going to want a second probably at each base. Surprised nothing's happening. Stuff has happened in other locations. Alright, so I, th I guess we'll stop here then, everyone. So, sorry about that. I was expecting to actually shoot down another UFO this month, but it's been six days and nothing's happened. If the aliens don't show up, that's fine with me. We're only losing some money from over here. So, that's I wouldn't mind having another million dollars coming to me. Anyway, that will do it for this video after all, everyone. Thank you for watching. When we come back, we'll 
shoot down more aliens, get that Chimera HQ stood up, and keep going. I'm also probably going to want to think about standing up a third base at the end of this month, somewhere over here. Give it a radar, give it some aircraft, but no people in it, because I don't know if I'll be able to afford a second full-up base. Well, in any case, we're done for now. Thank you guys again for watching, and take care.